How's it going, people? Well, I just got finished with chapter 20 of 3rd Nephi. And let me tell you, it was fucking fascinating. But I just don't remember it anymore, that's all. Alright. Let's read some DNC. And get us educated. And I think our sections, because they're real short. Real short. Alright. Section 12. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith the prophet. To Joseph Knight. Uh, is that S-E-N? Is that senior or senator? I think senior. I guess. Uh, at Harmony, Pennsylvania. May... 1829. Joseph Knight believes the declarations of Joseph Smith concerning his possession of the Book of Mormon plates and the work of translation then in progress and had given material assistance to the translator and his scribe. That's nice of him. Material assistance. Material is in materialize, as in reality. Matter. Shit that matters. <sighs> the fucking communist. And people are still falling for it. It's amazing. Joseph Smith, L. Ron Hubbard, Muhammad. It's all the same shit to me. And I've read that book back four times also. And I still don't get it. What the fuck? As a matter of fact, I get that book less than all the others. I'm like, okay. Alright, God is great. And... It's sincere baffled, at least. It's just, I'm an infidel. It doesn't work on me, apparently. Wrong language. And I'm not learning Arabic, so... Sorry. Ain't doing it. See History of the Church. Volume 1. Page 47. If it's in this book, I'll get there. Great and marvelous character of the Lord's work personal participation in the bringing forth and establishment of the cause of Zion open to all who have earnest desires and who possess the requisite qualifications. And that's the end of the masthead. Qualifications, huh? Okay. Sick. Verse 1. But first... A great and marvelous work is about to come forth among the children of men. Is he going to start every goddamn... He is! They all start the same way! <laughs> oh, he does! <laughs> he does. Uh. I'm sorry. Damn. My computer's fucking up and I'm falling apart too. Okay, where was I? Anyway, verse 1 is the same apparently in most of this shit. Well, not all of it. Alright. At least several of these, like the last one, yeah, and let's see, oh, it's a long one, wait, are the pages sticking together, I think I spilled scotch on this, nope, no, alright, just the last two, apparently. <laughs> Same beginning. All right. 
Never mind. I never do. <sighs> Two. Behold, I am God. And I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true. Right? Because the, the real imaginary guy in the sky would get pissed. Give heed to my word, which is quick and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, to dividing asunder both joints and marrow. Therefore, give heed unto upon my, uh, to my word. I gotta check the last chapter. I feel like I'm reading the same goddamn thing. Son of a bitch, it's the same. What the fuck? Two sections and they're the same? They can't be completely the same. What the fuck? It's a truncated version of the last one. Alright, fine, I'll do it anyway. Check out the last one. This is some shit, man. <laughs> I, I thought it was me. I mean, it could have been, but it, just, lucky for me, it wasn't. It was these guys. Uh, dividing asunder both joints and marrow. Therefore, give heed unto, unto, unto my word. Three, behold, the field is white. All ready to harvest. Therefore, whoso desireth to reap, let him thrust his sickle with his might, and reap while the day lasts, that he may treasure up for his soul everlasting salvation and the kingdom of God. At least they're not writing on gold this time. Just regular fool's cap. Five. Therefore, if you will ask of me, you shall receive. Like I said in the last section. So you can really believe it. Because you repeat something enough times. And it just bypasses all reason. It becomes real. To you. Just not to the reality. Just to you. And a select group of friends. Uh, five. The same is called of God. Yeah, okay. Five. Therefore, if you will ask of me, you shall receive. If you will knock, it shall be opened unto you. Like you said in the last goddamn section. Uh, word for fucking word. What the fuck? Sorry, it's an, I'm feeling a little annoyed right now. I'll get over it. Hang on. <sighs> Better. Six. Now, as you have asked, behold, I say unto you, keep my commandments. Be up. All right, I added, I added the last part. Um, and seek. To bring forth the establishment uh, and establish the cause of Zion. Will do. <sighs> or not. Seven. Behold, I speak unto you. That needed to be said. And, be, and also... To all those who have desires to bring forth and establish this work. Eight. And no one can assist in this work except he shall be humble and full of love. Uncomfortable, huh? Uh, having faith! 
hope and charity. Being temperate, uh, as long as I don't have to give up my beer. It's scotch. GDP. KGB. Uh. Faith, hope, and charity. Especially the latter. Being temperate in all things. Oh, shit. Guess not. Whatsoever shall be entrusted to his care. Hey, I can be trusted, though. Trust me. You've got faith, right? Nine! Just not me, right? <laughs> Behold, I am the light and the life of the world. And speak these words, therefore, give heed with your might. Mm. And then you are called. Amen. Try real hard to believe, and you'll believe. That's what they're saying. Desire to believe before you believe, and you'll believe. Makes perfect fucking sense. Section 13. Ordination of Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery to the Aaronic Priesthood at our Harmony, Pennsylvania, May 15th. We have an actual date. 1829. Hallelujah. Under the hands of an angel. Wow. Who announced himself as John. <laughs> the same that is averred that he was acting under the direction the direction of Peter, James, and John. The ancient apostles who held the keys to the higher priesthood. Ancient, but not that ancient. Fuck. Which was called the priesthood priesthood of Melchizedek. Now that's fucking ancient. Maybe, probably not. Uh, the promise was given to Oliver, to Joseph and Oliver, that in due time the priesthood of Melchizedek would be conferred upon them. See the history of. The the Church, Volume 1, page 39, compare section 27, 7, 8 through 12. Or not. And I choose not to, unless it's further on down the line, one page at a time. All right. That's it for all the masthead. They don't even have verse numbers. It's just verse 13 is one verse. And it doesn't even get a number one. Upon you, my fellow servants, in the name of Messiah, I confer... That's a name? I thought that was a title. The name of Messiah, I confer the priesthood of Aaron, which holds the keys of the ministering angels, and the gospel of repentance and of baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. And this shall never be taken again from the earth until the sons of Levi do offer again an offering unto the Lord in righteousness. And I'm pretty sure that ain't going to happen. Huh? Pretty much done. Anyway, that's 12 and 13. And that was fucking fascinating. I, I hope you learn something, and you'll let me know what it is. So anyway, I'll see you in 14, eventually. I've got like a bazillion videos to edit and update, 
I gotta stop making them. I have no internet connection. Uh, I have to, like, panhandle for Wi Fi. <laughs> Just kidding. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Until next time.